What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Life Cycle of a Trade, the series where we break down the thought process behind trade entry, trade adjustments, and closing order. In this video, we are going to cover an iron condor. What's up, everybody? We've got some trades for uh, this next little session here. Uh, E-mini S&P 500 features down 62 points here. Big sell-off. NASDAQ down 370. Uh, I think it's time to put on sort of a core position here with a iron condor in SPY. So SPY, uh, one of the major indices, of course, uh, the biggest one of the group, trades at 547 right now. When we look at the chart, it's had a significant sell-off here, uh, back down to kind of the range that it's been trading in since around June. Uh, volatility has upticked significantly. You can see volatility futures at 1565. I think it's time to put on an iron condor. So we're gonna go into the trade page here, go to the 58 day expiration. So we're going into se September. It's a little bit longer duration than I typically like to do, but given that we've had a little bit of a down move, and a pop in volatility, I think it's time to take advantage of that. So typically we go somewhere around the 20-ish delta for those short options. I'm gonna look here at, let's call it the 525 just for a sort of round number. Uh, as for the spread width, I typically like to go to about $10 wide here. So I would go and buy the 515. On the upside, we're gonna do that same sort of exercise here, go to around a 20 delta, let's call it the 570 here, and then I'm gonna go $10 wide to the 580. You can see it's gonna trade right around one third the width of the strikes. This is typical for this duration when you're in the 40 to 60 day time frame. If you're selling around 20 delta for the short options, going five, 10, 15, $20 wide, you'll typically get about one third the width of the strikes, which sets you up with around a 50 to 60% probability of success. So we're gonna sit here with this spread. Um, we'll go in around the mid price of 341. We'll see if we get filled. And of course we can cancel and replace as needed. We'll go down to 340. All right, another penny here. And there we go, we got filled at 339. That'll be our iron condor, $10 wide. We're going out into the September expiration. All right, so we got to make an adjustment here in our SPY position. So we've got volatility exploding here into what has been a huge move in the market. Uh, the volatility features at 2128. You've got the E-minis down 120 points here. A big move in the market as a whole. So we have a position on an SPY. It's an iron condor that we put on on the 24th. So it's been about a week and this spread hasn't moved a whole lot. And that's because of this massive pop and volatility that we've had. So uh, we've got this position that's now a little bit tested on the downside. But the real thing that I want to take advantage of today is this pop and volatility. The volatility, you know, VIX itself sitting at 26. It got into the 30 handle earlier today. I, I think you got to do something in terms of rolling calls down. And the reason we want to do that is because... Even if you get the bounce back, that whipsaw type move, it tends to come with a, a volatility contraction. And when you're talking about a VIX at 25 to 30 ish range, it doesn't get much higher than that normally. Of course, it can get higher. You can see big moves to the downsides in terms of, you know, crash scenarios or like COVID stuff like that, where you get those massive moves to the downside. But for all intents and purposes, 30 VIX is a very high point. So for me, I freed up some capital on my short delta GE position, and I'm willing to put a little bit more capital at risk here into this adjustment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll down the call, and I'm just going to roll this down naked. So this is, this is going to be a much wider spread now. It's going to be a 20-point wide spread, and I'm going to use the 800 bucks that I took off from my GE position to finance this buying power here. And again, the reason I'm doing the, making this adjustment is because I want to capture some of that volatility uh, into this move. So I'm going to roll down from the 570 to the 560 here, pick up a little bit of Delta. 
uh, into this adjustment. If you wanted to, you could go and buy a, a call here to reduce some of that uh, risk and reduce some of the buying power that you're that you're using here. You could buy something like the 575 and make it a 15 point wide spread as opposed to the 20 point wide spread. But I'm going to go with just the roll down here. I'm going to do this at two dollar or just under two dollars, 191 here. See if I can get filled here and pick up a little bit of short delta into this move. Filled at 190, so I, uh, 191. So I did the original trade at 339. I've got a dollar 91 in credit on this roll down. I've now got a much wider call spread, well relative to the put spread. I've got a total premium of five dollars and thirty cents. I'm using about 1,500 bucks in buying power on this position, which is more risk on the upside. Uh, this spread has a lot more volatility exposure than the original spread because of how wide that call spread is, which should help me if there is a little bit of a bounce here and a little bit of a contraction in volatility. What's up, everyone? We've got an absolutely wild market right now. E-mini S&P 500 futures down 154. They were down 250 at one point today. You can see this bar today, absolutely wild on, on the E-minis and the market as a whole. It's been a Swift sell-off here with a massive pop in volatility. VIX hitting the 30 mark, getting even up close to the 40 mark today. Um, so we've got a couple positions that we got to take a look at. One position in particular, our SPY Iron Condor. Now with the move today, this role has, has helped us significantly. And with this pop in volatility, it's helping this whole position, even though it's fully or close to fully, in the money so you can see these markets are very very wide and we're going to try and close this out and maybe take a 90 cent profit on this 440 is where i'm thinking we'll get filled we'll see if that happens in practice here but we've got this 10 dollars wide put spread and our our wider uh 20 point wide call spread that has gone to trading about a dollar here overnight um, so let's see if we can route this order. And with markets like this, with volatility really exploding, big price movements, you can see the market is moving five, 10 handles a clip. I tend to go well below the mid price because you never know where you're going to get filled when these markets are this wide. Uh, SPY typically has penny wide markets in times of volatility. Those are going to widen out, especially because we've got the markets moving so significantly. So let's route this at 420 and we're going to work our way up and see where we get filled here. So no fill at 420. We'll move this up another 5 cents, 425. No fill there. 430. No fill there. You can see the market selling off a little bit, which is going against our position making this position more expensive to buy back. 435. No fill there. Let's see if we can get hit at 440. That was where I thought we would get filled. Nope. 445. No fill there. Let's see if we get filled at 450. Nothing there. Wow. You could see these markets are moving significantly. And this actually has some long delta. So an up move would help us on this fill. We're actually seeing about a 10 point down move uh, from when we originally started this uh, little exercise. 455. We'll see if we can get 75 cents out of this. There we go. We got a fill on that. 445 on that. Um, uh, we actually got price improved to 450. And again, this is live action price, um, you know, trying to work price here and get filled on a position $4.50 into a massive down move here um, in the market. That put spread was five, 10 points in the money, but because of how high volatility has gotten, the extrinsic value in that at the money put spread really, really buffered that loss to the downside. And hence why that position was uh, ended up being an $80 profit, which uh, you would not expect into what this uh, this market has been looking like today. So uh, closing that one out, that iron condor after a roll down 
for a small $80 profit, but a decent profit into a position that you would think would be a terrible position at this point. So uh, good trade. That was a crazy one. Crazy market. Uh, just stay small. Always uh, manage positions when you can. Uh, work your, your prices there and uh, you know take the market as it comes. So we'll see you on the next trade. If you want to catch these trades live, tune in to Johnny Trades every Wednesday at 9.40 a.m. on Tasty Live. Peace.